Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky and in today's video we will understand different output format provided by the AWS CLI. Whenever we do an API call to get any information related to any of the resources which is there in the AWS, we get that information in a particular format. Most of the time we will get in the default format that is the JSON one, but we can actually change that output as well. So if we need to change it, we have couple of options provided by the Amazon like let me open this thing. So these are the output format we have provided by the AWS CLI like we can have the data in the JSON format, we can have it in the YAML, we can have in the YAML stream, text and table. Okay. So let's see one by one. I already have one of the machine created uh, that is the Linux machine and on this machine I already have AWS CLI 2 install version 2 install so let me show it to you if I go to AWS version so here we have the AWS CLI version 2.7 installed by default whenever you are going to create a EC2 machine or the Linux machine you will get the version 1 now how to upgrade the version 1 to version 2 I have already created one of the video for that you can go and watch that video I will provide you the link in the description there you will get the idea like how you can upgrade your AWS CLI version and why we need to up update the AWS CLI version because these outputs let, let me open these outputs couple of outputs are only going to work with the AWS CLI version 2 AWS CLI version is the latest one which is provided by the AWS so it is recommended that we use the AWS version 2 okay. now the first thing which we need to do is we need to configure the credential or we need to configure the user over here we already have the AWS CLI install version 2 now we need to install one of the user for that what I need to do is I need to go to the IAM Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one of the demo user. So let me create add user. This is for AWS CLI. Let me go with the access key, next permission, attach existing policy. I will go with the admin access. Create user. Now once we click on the create user, we will get the access key and the secret key. So let me copy the access key and let me go to my terminal. And to configure my user on my Linux machine, what command we need to run? That is AWS configure. Once we enter this command, it will ask for the access key. Let me enter my access key here. Then it is asking me for the secret key. Let me copy and paste. The next we have the default region name. So whatever the demo I'm going to do, I'm going to do it in the US East one. And the last one we have the default output format which we are going to discuss in detail in this video lab. So the output format, let me open this thing. So the output format, we have table, text, YAML stream, YAML and JSON. By default, if I'm not going to provide any of the output here, it is going to consider it as JSON. Okay. So let me not provide any of the output here. Now the first thing which we need to run is let uh, let me go with this output text let me get the detail of all the users I'm not going to provide any of the output so let's see the information which I'm getting that is in the JSON format that is the default format now let's suppose I need to get this information in the YAML so what I need to do is at the end of the command I need to provide the output YAML now see now I'm getting the detail in the YAML or let's suppose I need to do this YAML as a default output format so for that what I can do is I will go to the AWS configure command one more time and update the output format here like YAML okay or table text whatever I want I can update it here the default format I'm not going to update the default format right now but let me go to the previous command output yaml output json 
now the next one is text now we are getting the output in the text format and the last we have the table now the information we are getting it in a table let's understand the difference between the table text yaml and json most important you are going to use the text now if you need to use any of the linux command like grab std or command you need to use you need to go with the text one if you want to uh, you know see the format in the human friendly then you will go with the table so let, let me go with one more example so that you can understand this thing better let me go with aws ec2 describe instance after that minus minus instance id and then we need to provide the instance id let me grab the instance id from my ec2 let me copy this paste it here if i'm not going to provide any of the output it is going to present the data in the json format now let's suppose i will go with the text option okay it's a long one let me come out of this thing minus minus output and I'm going to change this one to text let's see I'm getting this thing in the text not relevant I'm not getting the information I'm not able to even read this thing right so I will go in detail like where the text is going to help us but before going to the text let me go with the table which is a user friendly one human readable this is interesting right here we can read all the information in the table format and it is very easy to read right let me come out of this but in the table uh, if you need to run any of the org grep or anything any command any linux command you need to run you are not able to do that you can only do that with the help of the text one so let me go and run one of the query Now here the output is text, let's see, now here I am getting the information related to the user, username, ARN, creation date, password last use and the user id. Let me go with one more command. command was not copied completely let me paste it one more time now see i'm getting the result so here i need to get the availability zone availability zone i'm getting here state name running or stop so this one is stop this one is in running state i'm getting that information right i can also do a query with the help of the org grep command as well so let's see that thing here i'm only going to print out the running instance okay the thing which we need to change is this is us east west so we need to change it to grep us east 1c only the instance which is in running state i'm getting that information if i need to get the information related to the stop what i can do is i can change it to stop this grep i can change it to stop or even i can change the availability zone as well if i want to i'm getting this information so this is very useful 
when you need to query something it is very useful okay now let me list the user and we have already created one user that is aws cli so let's see whether this user is part of any group or not this user is not part of any of the group and that is why i'm not getting any reply so let me do one thing let me go to my iam and add this user to a particular group or something aws cli let me add this user to a group developer and tester okay let me go back now i am getting the reply this user is a part of developer and the tester group great very useful if i need to get the information in the table format i can get that in the table format but in the table format if i need to run any of the query that is very difficult but let me show it to you one more thing in the table if i need to run the query see i'm getting this thing i'm getting the instance id i'm getting the size of the volume i'm getting the availability zone everything but if i need to do a particular query like i only need the size or i only need the information related to the instance which sizes of 8 gb that is very difficult with the help of the table okay that is only we can do with the help of the text so that is the difference between the text and the table i hope you understand that thing so let me explain that one more time so if you are looking for a information like how many machines are there which is of 30 gb volume if you need to get that information you will not get that information with the help of the table you will only get that information with the help of the text okay let's do one more so i have one of the cloud formation stack so let's see this thing with the different output so the first one is json okay my stack does not exist okay let me see okay the name is demo my stack now this is in the json format now let's go with that second one that is the yaml now let's go with the third one that is the yaml stream the yaml stream is not working uh, okay the spelling is not correct yaml stream now there is not much difference between the yaml and the yaml stream yaml stream is for when you need to process large amount of data or when you are running a api call to any of the aws resource and you need to get lot of data at that moment of time yaml stream is very important otherwise you can go and work with the yaml only the next one we have the text and the last one we have the table so this is how the aws cli output format work